Hello Nippies, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Nips and I'm a freelance illustrator and karmic artist. Today we're gonna be working on some sketches for a giveaway I did over on Instagram for hitting 30K. I had to start over with a new account. So thank you to everyone that's been supporting me over there on Instagram, on Twitter, or just here on YouTube or in general, Patreon as well. Thank you to everyone supporting my work. So I decided to give away two sketches. There are three for this video because someone was super generous to donate and I decided to use to ask them if they wanted any sketch and use that as kind of like a warm up. It had been a long time since I had done a sketch kind of not request but like it had been a while since I had done sketches live on Twitch and so I was very very rusty as you'll see from this Ty Lee from Avatar and so I was very very nervous that I wasn't going to be able to execute all the sketches properly. I definitely took a lot longer on this than I wanted to. I couldn't get the angles right. I couldn't get a lot of the shapes and figures correct. I was kind of tilted, stressed out, and worried, but uh, I'm glad that I did a warm up because the sketches that came after, I feel like I'm pretty proud of. To those that won the giveaway over on Instagram, they requested Marco from Boku no Hero and Ace from One Piece. I really like Ace from One Piece because I actually keep up with One Piece. One Piece is one of my favorite shows slash mangas of all time. So that one wasn't too difficult. This one was hard only because I had never really seen the character and I don't know much about the character. But from what I had seen of her, I really like the poses. I really like the color scheme. And so I really wanted to go out on this kind of very um, dynamic and kind of intense pose. I really like the design of the outfit as well and I like that she's super buff. I wanted to make sure I didn't really skimp out on all the muscles and everything that I could show. I tried my best for those of you that follow my work or follow my streams know that I try my best to include literally everything in one drawing that I have butts, boobs, muscles, angles, facial expressions, everything. And um, it was really fun trying to figure out a way to get everything in there for this drawing. I'm pretty proud of how this drawing came out. I may or may not make a print of it. A lot of people were asking me if I could do a print of this and uh, I may or may not just go ahead and do that. So stay tuned for that. I will keep you guys posted on Twitter and Instagram, of course, of all the new art, new merchandise and everything. So thank you for supporting that. I, as of late, have been practicing to stay looser on digital. I think one of my biggest problems sometimes, uh, as far as digital goes, is maintaining my looseness. I think when I work traditionally, it's much easier for me to kind of glide my pencil and tools on the paper or on the canvas or wherever it is that I'm working. And for some reason, as soon as I go digital, I lose a little bit of that energy. And so as of late, I've been really trying to condition myself to think a little bit more more like I do on paper and um, try to regain a little bit of that kind of dynamic flow that I typically have. I tried to also experiment a little bit more, add some little shadows here and there, kind of mess with some color palettes and really just try to do the same thing I usually do, but slightly different if that makes any sense. Just trying to level up in small ways every time that I draw, trying to kind of inch closer to some <laughs> art artistic standard that I have in my head, I guess but this piece I'm pretty proud of. There's definitely a lot of things that you can fix for sure. I 
In general, I think I'm pretty proud of the looseness of the lines. Normally I would go a little bit too far with the details or being a little too anal with certain parts of the hands and the feet. And I'm pretty happy with how I was able to execute the lines without being too meticulous about the quality, which would have made this piece take at least an hour or two longer. So I'm really happy about that. If you guys follow my art regularly, you'll know. That's probably where I spend the most time is making the lines very, very detailed and making sure every single line <laughs> has a purpose and a flow and a... It, it definitely is a tedious process. I feel like it's worth it in the end. It's... or I don't know. <laughs> it's what I enjoy the most anyway. So I... maybe I convince myself that it's worth it in the end. I feel like learning to not be meticulous about lines but still make them look good is also a skill in and of itself and knowing the place and the time to be meticulous and to not I think is important so doing these sketches live especially during Thirsty Thursdays as well is a very helpful time to learn to set my priorities for the quality of my lines and work. So the next piece here is Ace from One Piece. And for this one, I wanted to really, I think one of my favorite things about One Piece, which ironically was one of my least favorite things before I even got into the show was the art style. I feel like this is something that I hear from a lot of people that are not into One Piece, is that they're turned off by the art style. And I think the art style is one of the most charming things about Oda's work. I mean, aside from literally everything, you know, all the characters, the story, the backstories, the pacing, the sequential art and how he panels everything. Everything about Oda's work I think is phenomenal, but I think the art style is one of the most charming and it's what makes him, him and his art like so unique. One of my favorite things about drawing One Piece characters is trying to find a way to translate the art style into my art style without losing the essence of the characters. I don't know that I did a very good job with Ace. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I could have swapped a couple things here and there to make it feel more like Ace. But in general, I think that challenge is one of the most fun things about drawing One Piece characters is just finding the right way to translate Oda's art style, very iconic art style into mine and still keep the integrity and feeling and aura and vibe of the character. So Ace is one of my favorite characters and it was really fun and a nice surprise to see that the winner had requested him. I was like, oh, maybe it's just a long time overdue <laughs> to finally draw Ace because I've been a fan for quite a bit and I don't think from what I remember, I don't think I've, I've drawn him yet. So this piece was very fun. I wanted to do a more close-up piece, which is why I just decided to do kind of a bust shot. I wanted to really hone in on the face and the expression. And I had gone so hard on the Mirko and made it full body that I was like, maybe we need to tone it down a little bit for the next one. And normally these bust shots, I get scared because they feel not as dynamic as my other pieces. But I feel like this one, even though it is a bust shot and even though there's not much going on, it still feels like it has some sort of flow. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. The only thing that I am not as happy is the translation of the art style to my art style. I feel like there are some things I definitely, in hindsight, could um, tweak a little bit on his face, kind of the mouth a little bit, the eyes, the shape of the eyes, the eyebrows. Mm -hmm. 
But either way, I, I really like the colors I chose as well, the pose, the anatomy, and um, hopefully I'll do some more giveaways, guys, if, we, if you wanna go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. We'll do some sketch giveaway once we hit some cool milestones. Maybe the next one will be 50K. I don't know, that's kind of a long, <laughs> a long way out from now on Instagram. And maybe when we hit 90K on Twitter, that's still kind of a long way too. I, I really like how this one came out. I like the colors a lot. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at casualnips, Twitter at onips. Thank you to everyone on patreon.com slash onips who supports my work there. You guys are what help me do art for a living every single day and I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much and I will see you guys next week. Bye!